just watching their bull cow walk across here, and I'm thinking, damn, that's a good looking calf. Yeah, I'm out here a little late. Brooke and her boyfriend invited us over for dinner, so that was a very good dinner. Matt can cook some R steaks and green beans and scalloped potatoes. I didn't go away hungry. I ate more than I should have. Um, last night, news is talking about, yeah, we might see some showers next, probably next Sunday, okay? That was the 10 o'clock news. I didn't go to sleep right away. About 10.40, after I get in bed, we hear raindrops. It actually rained for about a half an hour. Now, I can't say how much we got because I haven't been near a gauge. And I guess I could have looked at that fancy new weather station, but I don't know. Didn't think about that. It's been training quite a bit right here. I just kicked it in the butt to get it in. We were, you well, know, it wasn't quite in last night when I got back from dinner, so. But we got it rolled up and moved over anyway. Um. About three o'clock it rained again enough I woke up and heard it. So, yeah, part of that's because the cows walked through here, but part of that's because the grass is actually wet with moisture from the sky and not just out of thin air. The driveway, yeah, you can kind of tell it. The lane coming up here, I didn't make any dust coming up. That's about all I can say. And here's your best best representative, you can't really tell. It looks a little darker over there than it probably should have been. So anyway, uh, I got about another half hour, 45 minutes before that comes in since I just kicked it in the butt. I couldn't do that last night because Ty spent the night out here and I told her, okay, you go shut the pump off, I'll go start getting ready to move. And I got to unhook a wire down there by that gate before crossing through here. I passed it, had to back up 20 feet to get it. And I literally got just to the tractor when, yeah. So I never got a chance to hit the lever. I mean, it wouldn't have made that much difference. This thing really doesn't hand crank that hard. I went, oh, half that distance. It took me probably two minutes cranking. I don't know. And it wasn't hard. So anyway. We'll see what today actually brings. Oh, dang. Oh, it's over there. I was going to say, there's nothing on the front of the trailer. Yeah, it needs a pressure wash before it goes out. Can't see out the windshield. Yeah. And here's what the driveway looks like. Yeah, the dirt part's damp. Gravel's all dry. Get this thing aired up. And it's set, so. Yeah. I don't know if these kids got fed today or not. Some of them came in, but I don't think anybody came in to get fed. That would be Dancer's kid there, the big boy. With a milk nose. Huh. Yeah. Like Mama cleaned his face up a little. Anyway. I don't know if Maury's waiting for me yet or not. But after get, finally getting the traveler moved. I was chomping at the bit. She had the truck running. Of course, she didn't check the oil first. And I down hug it to get fuel because I can't get around the corner of the machine chip with the trailer on. Especially when the tank's on the left side. So, it's full. And I'm kind of hoping she'd come out and get that pressure washer going and find a windshield while I was doing this. But That's probably enough, especially since the compressor just kicked off. Well, Highway 6 right over there. The overpass deal right there is uh, off Highway 26 to Highway 6 headed toward the coast. And that way, Highway 26. And there's Amori. I guess he did a little playing with his quarter turn so that it would work. It's working. The actual parts aren't supposed to be until Wednesday. 
but he likes to pick off the end of the stack. Of course, he's only ever run that grapple. Always had the quarter turn. Doesn't know any different. Well, hopefully he's got a hold of it right, because well, that'll probably go on the front for a tie. Try to take the tie tiers out of the stack and use them front and rear. And that's what always happens to me, too. Well, almost always. But I can push them in where we grab them from the side. But we may just make that a set of 12 instead of 11. I don't know. These are smaller bales. And it's a Super 1048 stack cruiser. I think it's a Super. It's newer than our old one was. And yeah, there we are. If I could see the screen, I'd tell you what you were looking at. Well, this stack's getting smaller. We're going to go five high. Ain't a whole lot of sense in going six. I don't like these little bales. They don't stack tight. Too many corners, roundabouts, that kind of crap to go through. But, uh, yeah, he's had a couple issues too. Fan belt was loose, so fan wasn't keeping his tractor cool. That's got a chain drive with a hydraulic cylinder for the rotate on the grapple, and that buggered up. Knocked the cam loose to hold the chain tight, and we just fixed that. So, but it ain't going too bad. About 72 bales per tier. I figure two loads like we're going to do this one, and one load will be three or four high to finish it up later. And yeah, it'd be nice to have a bale there, but. I ain't setting them up there by hand. And unfortunately, it's his quarter turn. I mean, to me, I, I don't like it. I'm not the one running it. He does want to change it, though, and belt drive it like ours is, because it's a whole lot safer. I got to see how bad he is. Yeah, actually, he's about right. Looks good. Maybe a little over. That's a bad thing when he sets down it goes out farther or our sets down straighter but no, we're not sticking out don't look too bad I'm good with that now well, there it is we'll go over here by that oak tree and climb up on the road and head her home better not going out there no because the scale's been open that's that there's a scale right over there kind of by those trees I don't care that it's there, I really don't. But I don't want to go that way anyway. But whether it was there or not. So. Used to be just that entrance over here. And I had a lot of silage out that hole. I wouldn't want to get this in and out of it. But they put a new one over here so they can cross straight into the other field with the combines without pulling the headers off. It's nice. I like it. Nice uneventful trip home until we got behind a nursery sprayer. I zoom in, but I'm a little busy. That's got, I don't know how many weights on the left side and then the right side's a pulled out boom, air boom. It's like eight or 10 inch tube. Stretches out like 40 or 50 feet to the side. A friend of mine, rest in peace, RJ, used to work for the nursery that's got that one and he remodified their original one because the factory didn't put enough weights on them. They get stretched out and start having issues. But anyway, we've been hiding for about a mile and a half. We just got a few cars hiding back there. He's either going to turn off up here in a half a mile or go straight. If he turns off, I'm going straight. If he goes straight, I'm turning off. That's how close we are to home. I hate going around banked corners with a load this slow. But tis life. Now we're only uh, we're right at two miles from home right now, so almost there. Get a bite to eat, get this thing unloaded, and figure out what to do because there ain't no way to get another load today. Well, things that make you say bad words. Engine oil's fine. Don't have to deal for the compressor dipstick and. A little issue there. That's uh, about that much short. 
so I don't know if I can get into the magnet and pull out what's left, or if I gotta take things apart to get to it. Not what I needed right now. That compressor just has not, it, it works. System works on here, but you can see it's full of oil because it vibrates so much. I had to put this breather on this side because the rotation blows you oil right up in the dipstick too. And it's actually the proper rotation for the freaking compressor. So the idiots that built it were idiots. Um, I've actually thought about, except it's a lot of work, tear the whole thing apart, flip the crank around, and you know, got that issue. But unfortunately for today, I got to find the end of that stick and then see if there's even anything in there. Well, you probably can't see any more than I can. Uh, I ain't even half done yet. We had some rat holes to fill in the floor and did a little tea weaken on the teeth so I can get six wide easier. Just two small bales is what the sets are and it's easier. So that's what we're doing. And uh, I'm hoping. Yeah, if I can do what I'm doing here. Two had a job with one hand. Hey, I got a pile of them though. Um, get this done before dark tonight, I hope. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> ah, you got your voice. Good thing I turned my head off the window. Um, get another of those probably like this one tomorrow. And if we're early enough, but I got my doubts. If we're early enough, we can get the last of it tomorrow too. But ah, you big. The worst thing in here is this first set because I got to be really careful making it, or it goes in on top of the feeder and then you're kind of screwed. You know. The other thing is I can't get over that hump. I think it's a torque converter issue because we changed torque converters when we did the new tranny and I'm just thinking that's what the issue is. It's a, I think it's a higher stall converter which is great if you're sitting here with your foot on the brake but when you go to move it just don't freaking do it. This thing actually has to get hot because in engine temperature of 180 or 190 before the transmission wants to move. Helps if I get it in gear too. That happens once in a while. And I do hope both these are gonna fit. I think it's gonna be by hand. Uh oh. So anyway, you know what I'm doing? And I'm gonna at least let the editing stuff happen out here. Hopefully it'll download. It downloads slow in the yard. I don't know why. I mean, it's all on the cell service. Uh, maybe tomorrow we'll get you some better video of this. I don't know. We'll see. So thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you had a decent Monday. And I can get Tyler down because those will fit in there with a little squeeze play.